So it looks like 343 just earned another W today as Husky Raid has been added to the game. And this also brings a lot of awesome maps created in Forge by the community, which if you don't know what Husky Raid is, you'll find out later in this video. We also have the containment event happening for the next two weeks here. We have a free 10 tier battle pass for you to earn your unlocks. We have a weapon charm. We have a utility pack here for your hazmat core, all those customizations for your hazmat core. You get this coating here, that Mesa incline. You have a new chest piece right here, a new helmet, a new visor as well. A little bit of a attachment for that helmet as well. And then you have these two different shoulder pieces right here. Very similar in vain to the utility pack as well. And then ultimately you get the first response post, which has a nice little medic kit for you. Also, as of the day of uploading this video, I will be live streaming the containment event here on this channel. So follow the link in the pinned comment and description to set your notifications when we do go live. I play with viewers often, so if you ever wanted the game, that's the best time to catch me. And I hope to see you all there. Quick look at the shop. We got some new bundles. We have the Tem4 bundle right here, which this coating looks very familiar. I don't know. I mean, like it looks nice. Don't get me wrong, but that looks very familiar to the Genesis Bloom coating that you get from just playing the game right here from the Battle Pass. I mean, this is like basically the same thing, but now you're charging for it. I don't know about that. Comes with the Tem4 helmet. You also have a helmet attachment right there, which I mean, looks kind of funny, but I mean, if it's into your thing, if that's your style, go for it. And they also have the shoulder pads here. You have a new chest piece, a different type of glove, which looks to take away like the protective layer on it. So it just looks like a glove. Hey, if it's your thing, you know, biofoam stance and a new set of knee pads as well for 1800 credits. I don't know. I think I'll pass on that one specifically. They also have the Calm Net bundle here, which has a coating, which eh, is kind of like all right with me. I don't really care much to it. You do have these pretty cool looking shoulder pads for the SPI armor, the Mirage IIC armor set like this. Definitely looks unique and stands out. If you have that, you definitely know someone got that bundle. Comes also with the stance, a utility pack, a different kind of visor. I mean, like it's man, looks all right to me and a different type of helmet attachment right there as well for 1500 credits. Ultimately, I think this is a pass week for me. We also saw some major changes come to career rank and bot bootcamp returns as a staple playlist and a bunch more. Team Survivors has rotated out for Social Slayer. Rumble Pit has been rotated out for Free For All Slayer. Team Doubles rotated out for Community Doubles and they also added in a brand new map Apostle. The big change that Bot Bootcamp has returned as a staple playlist. If you guys don't know the reason why they took it out is because when they brought in career rank, people were abusing the Bot Bootcamp playlist to rank up in the career rank a lot faster in a much easier way. So they decided to take that out, rework the XP gains for it. But Big Team Battle also got a boost here. Career rank progression in both of the Bot Bootcamp and Big Team Battle playlists are now earned via applied score rather than personal score. Applied score is determined by multiplying your personal score with the playlist multiplier. Big Team Battle has received a multiplier increase while Bot Bootcamp has had its multiplier decreased. So we should start to see the XP gains when it comes to career rank a little bit more fair. So if you're curious what Husky Raid is, effectively it's Capture the Flag, but in a very unique way. Oh my god, and this is the small hollow version of the map. He just basically made the map smaller and you feel a lot bigger. <laughs> this is amazing. But basically the way Husky Raid works, it's a, it's Capture the Flag, but the thing is that everyone has random weapons, much like Fiesta. And this became a very popular mode back in Halo 4 got even more popular in Halo 5 because of the extra wreck weapon that you had available for you. Oh my gosh, probably need to stop this guy. Here we go, we got a nice little double. Well, they're still carrying the flag though. And I really hope to see if we have any campaign variants with extend with this mode, because that would be absolutely amazing. Triple kill can get the over. Kill tech. Give me the attack. Oh no, I ran out of bullets. No. Essentially, the mode is just complete chaos. And that's why people love it so much. I like it a lot because it's just silly fun. And generally, the map design is that everyone just has to go down a single hallway to get the flag. This is a little bit more open than your typical type of Husky Raid map, which I'm all for this because one, it plays on nostalgia and also too, that it's it's Valhalla. One of the greatest Halo maps of all time. Give me a chance to play Valhalla. I'm definitely going to play it. So far, it doesn't really seem like there are any campaign variants on this map map sadly but maybe there are on other maps we'll just have to wait and see 
my gosh, I have a turret now? Let's see how this holds up in Husky Raid. I love how you can like jump on top of this now. This miniature Valhalla. I think they refer to it as small Hala. Oh my god, I actually got a kill with a Ravager. I didn't even think that was a possibility. Now, I did get a chance to already play this mode, but it was in the custom game browser with a bunch of people just kind of doing crazy stuff. We did actually play that with campaign variants. And of course, just like you would expect for any version of Husky Raid, it was total chaos in just the best way possible. And another one. And another one. Oh my gosh, we got blessed with rockets this time. See if we can make it count. We didn't make it count. There we go. We got a little bit of no action there. But yeah, in the Husky Raid, I played in custom game browsers and other matches that they were all just down like single hallway, which kind of adds to the chaotic fun of the mode. It's not like some sweaty try hard mode. We have to like really put some strategy into it. It's really just hold forward and hope for the best. The big benefit of the Halo 5 version, you had so many cool weapon variants as well. So then like you can really have some crazy experiences with Husky Raid, which that's where I became more familiar with this mode. I didn't really played a whole lot during uh halo 4 when it was kind of created back then mainly because halo 4 was well halo 4 so not really my thing there's one there we go we got another one got him what do you think you gotta do some jump maneuvers like that i love with the rocket launcher let's go that's one can we make another one happen? Oh my god, I hit the tree! One reason why I believe people love Husky Raid so much as well is because it's just an easy way to farm a lot of kills. You can get, you can go some crazy streaks in this mode for sure. Now this one feels a little more traditional, I guess this is the way to put it when it comes to a Husky Raid map as everyone just needs to run down a single hallway. It does seem to be a little bit of flank right here, which thank god because whew, this hallway is a... Uh, a little open. I mean, I'm trying to get out of this corner, but this guy right here with the freaking Hydra is just all over me right now. Although the floor is lava, this hurts. So we'll see if I can try to get some form of a uh, nice long kill streak to go for. I mean, we did get an overkill last match, which was cool, but obviously more the merrier when it comes to getting kills. There, that nice little double. Rockets and snipe are just so key on this mode to be successful. I'm gonna try this though with a grapple shot. Just kind of slide in and, uh, well, make some magic happen. If you can get inside the base with a sword, too, it means that's going to be extra nasty as well. Got one. Oh, my God, the rocks are coming in so clutch. You love to see it. There we go. Ooh, that's a little perfect, man. I mean, we have that a little three-tap perfect. Oh, yes! <laughs> Triple with the hammer, Bubby. Let's go. I don't think a lot of people know you can shoot the bottom pedestal like that with the drop wall, and you can make some room for yourself pretty easily. Where did my last rocket go? What? Oh, that was supposed to clear out the whole team, man. Ah. Oh. Oh, that guy is trying some crazy maneuvers. Hold up. Can we try that same kind of thing, but like with a grapple shot and kind of work around the other side? I wonder if you could. Oh, there's a grapple shot. They just spawned. I'm going to try it right here. I'm going to go up and around. Oh, there's an invisible wall. No. Oh, no. Oh my god, we got a kill with the Ravager on the full charge shot. Let's go. The rarest gameplay you've ever seen in Halo, ever. I swear, I keep setting myself up for greatness, and then just like the worst thing possibly happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you might look at that being like, yeah, that seemed a little unfair, but that's just kind of Husky Raid, man. It's, it's wild, crazy nonsense. It's supposed to be just total chaos. Grab that flag, buddy. Triple it. Overkill. No, I got ran out of bullets. No. Oh, survive. Hey, man, I, I made an attempt there. We tried to end the game before we're overtime. The Husky Raid's awesome. I'll keep on playing this. And if you guys want to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you hit subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.